Here's the deal, all I know is I was dancing inside of a storm Pirouettes in a tornado, orchestrated and out of control Hello, hi and welcome. My name is Petra if you're new here and another week, another video. So if you watch my previous one, you know I've been back home for a week. I took some time off, which was really lovely and kind of, you know, give me space to reflect and realise what I kind of want, what I don't want. Uh, I'm back in London now. It's my third day or like fourth day and um, I feel depressed, I'm not gonna lie, so haven't done haven't done much. Uh I was planning to, you know, go out, it's weekend, but I just don't feel like it. And if you watch my channel for a while, you know I struggle in kind of a depression and I'm trying to figure out still on my own how to manage it before eventually maybe going to GP. I don't even know, but yeah, I set up my alarm this morning for 8, then I was like, okay, let's, you know, have a little lay until 9, and then I was basically asleep until 11. I haven't done much. Um, I just feel mech, that's what it is. Um, yeah, fun times, but <laughs> I have a few bits which I need to do, Jesus Christ, my hair. Um for my sister so hopefully I can crack on with them this afternoon I need to tidy my room I still haven't unpacked and yeah it's just not great I think next time if I'm going away I need to get another day where I can literally just set myself because I got back to my place I think Wednesday around like 3 I was exhausted so I fall asleep straight away uh, and essentially slept till next day when I woke up around 8 and then I started working from 9am obviously so not an ideal uh, situation so I think maybe I learned this time um, and yeah so gonna tidy my room am I gonna treat myself to take away we finally got paid after it seems like eternity <laughs> so am I gonna treat myself as a last treat you know before February because I planning to not spend any unnecessary money for February have like a little challenge for myself and yeah I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start working on the bits for my sister tidy my room and kind of put a game plan for February I know so many times you hear don't just put it on a certain day if you feel you need a change do it the same day but I don't want it, okay? I'm the, hu <laughs> I'm the kind of person or human that likes to plan and I need to have a plan, I need to have strategy. If I don't have it, then I get easily lost. I need routine, so maybe that's what I'm gonna be doing today. We will see. I just took a shower and I feel 100% better. So, you know, small things really can change your mood and mind and everything. I feel kind of all right. And now, because I'm all refreshed, I did my skincare, I did my body care, I'm all feeling, you know, fresh as a daisy. So I feel all right to actually attack the mess in my room. To be fair, I should not be showing you, but I will show you how nasty I am. So yeah, this <laughs> is my room. It's absolutely disgusting. Suitcase, rubbish, another rubbish pile of stuff on my desk this i don't want to even i don't want to even look at it so it's just chaos and here is also chaos so yeah let's sort this out okay i'm done so this is clear this is clear this looks so much better my desk actually looks like a desk and i made my bed also put um load with the new bed in, in washing machine, so I can change it on the beginning of next week, hopefully. And yeah, first task for today, done. 
And now I will treat myself with takeaways. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do maybe Korean. We will see, we will see. Okay, I found this a restaurant called Seoul, I guess. Uh, I really like this bibimbap set. So it's miso soup, chicken dumplings, Korean fried chicken, and uh, bibimbap. So bibimbap is essentially a rice bowl with mixed vegetable, egg, uh, and topping either tofu, bulgogi, which is uh, beef or spicy pork, spicy squid. I think you can get chicken. So there's plenty of options. So I think I'm gonna get that one at 16.50. One of the cheapest, but it seems like a good variety. And I checked the other restaurants. It's just like fried chicken. I have checked the other Korean restaurants in the area and they seem to do just a fried chicken, which I'm not really into mood for. So I think I'm gonna do this bibimbap set. I have kimchi as well. I have seaweed so I can, you know, bit of zhuzh it up. And yeah, let's see if it's good because usually I kind of do the same. When I do takeaways, I usually do um, Domino's or like obviously McDonald's or uh, Popeye's and now I'm like I'm not in the mood of any of those so I guess I'm gonna try this Korean restaurant for first time and let's see if it's worth it or not. Okay so food arrived this is the bibimbap it looks actually really good this is the gochujang sauce uh, Miso soup, which is really hot, it's still, you can see the steam going. Two gyozas, two dumpling, could be more. This is the fried chicken, about like three pieces, but it is what it is. And this is my homemade kimchi. I also have uh, seaweed and I made uh, kombucha. Is this worth it, 18 pounds? Definitely not, but let's see how it tastes. Okay, let's do the bibimbap. I actually got spicy pork so let's see so what you have to do is you essentially mash up everything it seems i have the spinach here white rice radish pickled cucumbers um, carrot and bean sprouts and a bit of a uh, bit of spicy pork it's not as much to be fair but you know it is what it is seems to be hot as well steam is going from there so that is a plus which is good let's add the gochujang sauce i do like spicy so i'm gonna whack it all there and proper mix it up It looks good though, I have to say. The portion seems to be okay. So, not too little, not too much. So, that's all right. Let's properly mix it. All right, oops. Where's it going? Everywhere. Lost the cucumber. Cucumber is nicely pickled. That's quite nice. So, yeah. This is how the bibimbap is supposed to look like when you all mix it together. Um, I'm gonna maybe add a bit of kimchi in it or not. I don't know, but let's try the miso soup. I think you can't really mess up that. So, it's hot, it has spring onions and tofu as well, as you can see. Mm. It's nice. Sometimes you get it really watery in restaurants, but no, this is good. Let's try the dumpling. I believe that should be just a meat or vegetable one. I'm not so sure, so you can see. It 
to meet one. It's actually really nice. Good flavour. And then this is the fried chicken with garlic. It's quite nice to be fair. You have the proper garlic slices there as you usually have in Korea. So that's nice. Do you know what? Not bad at all. Not bad at all, actually. Hmm, nice. Obviously, my homemade kimchi. Hmm, it was really good. Really good. It was a good batch, I have to say. I mean, let's try the bean, but let's get like a good spoonful. The kind of everything. Let's have the egg, some spicy pork, rice, cucumber. So there we go. Mm. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. Also, it's not the proper Korean but it's very close I have to say for UK actually pretty bad not not bad I want to say not bad hmm. spicy pork is really nice actually so yeah not too bad I have to say if I make myself a bibimbap at home it is much better but hey ho it is what it is but to be fair not too bad, not too shabby, so I'm just gonna enjoy this now. Good morning. It's Sunday, it's like 11.30. Um, I'm just having my vitamin C in my cow mug, um, and then I will go to Lidl, so not 100% sure what I will be cooking for next week. I'll figure out on the way, but then I need to go into town. Uh, I need to go to Primark buy a few storage bits then I need to go to boots I have no idea what is causing my skin trouble but since I got back I got again red I actually broke here so I don't know if it's the water here or if it's actually my Korean skincare because when I went back home I didn't pack it because I would literally took all of my um, how's it called all of my um, space basically for liquids and I didn't use it for a week and my skin actually got really good and now I'm back two days in using my skincare and my face is not looking the greatest so what I'm gonna do I'm um, gonna still using my oil cleansing uh, cleansing oil the face wash because I think those are fine but then I will skip my toner, I will skip definitely the serum and then the moisturiser. I think it's the Centella, the Skin 104 that are breaking me out because I started that newly and since that my skin is not the greatest so I'm gonna stop using it and then we'll just get like a Cetaphil or something like that, just really easy uh, moisturizer for sensitive skin and hopefully that will help we will see and then yeah maybe I would need to switch my uh, skincare later on but let's just try this basic because I know Cetaphil works well for me if I don't use anything else so gonna get that and then I'm probably gonna take my laptop with me and do a bit of a admin bits probably go to Nero because that is like a good spot to go and do some work and that will be kind of my Sunday. So I'm finally back home. I'm not shouting because I'm not here alone, right? Um, really successful day actually. I finish another PDF for my sister and now I have one left. 
sounds good. Um, I also worked for another project which I need to finish tomorrow, so exciting. Uh, as I said, I went to Boots, so I got the Cetaphil, I don't know if you can see, lotion. I used to have this one when I had really bad skin, so I literally just wash my face with baby soap and use this one and really helped. So I hope now when I take the Korean skincare off my regime and just use this with the face wash, it will soak my skin again. Let's see. Then I saw these, I think everyone has them, these headbands, black and grey because of my fringe when I go to gym, so they might gonna be handy. So got those one. Then oh, in Primark I got these uh, crates, so I got three of them in this yellow color. So one is for my supplements, one is for kind of like bits and bobs that I can at least feel a bit organized, and the third one is for kitchen to put my uh, fruit and veg. So that's that, and then I found this gorgeous mug for two pounds fifty in Primark with sausage dog so it's kind of perfect for morning coffee so i can't wait actually to use it tomorrow so that's like a little treat for myself and had the free coffee from nero and then i treated myself for chicken bake which i literally just demolished before i started filming so yeah that is essentially it so to be fair for starting the vlog feeling depressed kind of hating my life again to end this weekend on high actually so yeah you know I'm really glad that I decided to take the shower sort my room even though it's again messy but it's just like that little tidying I still have my washing up but yeah no I had two really productive days on the ends and hopefully good things come in so that would be good we'll see we'll see but yeah I'm pretty happy also i think uh my sister ordered for me like a wall calendar which is for a whole year and you can see every day so when i'm gonna start going to gym i can actually do a cross that i've been in a gym i am like very visual person so for me like writing and ticking stuff is really rewarding so i decided to get that hopefully that will keep me motivated and then i'm planning to kind of do a little like um how is it called little little like a habit tracker i guess when i can take my reading my korean gym eating healthy water stuff like that i think i'm gonna do it in canva because i'm planning to actually get an ipad i'm still thinking about it i'm like should i do it should i not but i think it's gonna be really handy first of all for me to be able to track but also for my business because sometimes I do need to like draw or just you know do bits which I have in my mind but I can't do it just on uh, on my laptop so I think it would be handy to get iPad and a pen Apple pen and also I like doodling I always like to draw and everything and last couple of years I totally stopped doing that so I think that can kind of get me back in there and you know get like a new hobby because I feel I need to keep myself occupied my mind like I need to be constantly doing something because if not I can easily uh, get, I can easily kind of fell into my depression which is not great so yeah anyways I'm not gonna be <laughs> I'm not gonna be waffling for much longer if you like this video please give a thumbs up as per usual if you're new here subscribe and i will see you next week for the next video bye <laughs>